Honestly, I didn't even announce that we were going to France. <laughs> we decided to take a spontaneous trip this weekend, so we're going to Paris. I love these things! We're at the airport and we're ordering food, but we have to walk up to the bar to order our food or we could download this app. Tax free! These fanny packs are 200 pounds. Continuous rag theme. I can't read any of this shit. Okay. Full ass pizzas. It's now like 5 a.m. It literally looks like morning on my phone. So welcome to our crib. 6 a.m. apartment tour. We just got back from a night out and we're going to sleep. Good night, friendos. I think we're gonna go see the iPhone. I wouldn't do that. Oh, There's like yeah. people are actually trying to walk. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! This is amazing. How are you, Nick? Fucking great. How's the baguette? Pretty good. The baguette. Insane. You tell which one's in there for a while. 2010. Terrible experience. Whoa. 
They literally scammed us. Okay, so, you know the whole like waiter charm thing? They go in and they're like, hey, do you want water? Do you want water? You want water? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still is sparkling? And so I get with sparkling, maybe they might like, charge yeah, that's what I was Five euros, 40 euros. Or I don't know, 40 euros, whatever. Yeah. Charge this, I asked for a mimosa. Give me a double mimosa, charging 19 euros for that. Oh, Maya wow. got, oh yeah, Maya got charged. It was, she only had a pasta and water. And the pasta was like 16, the water was apparently 540. Got charged 32 euros. Watch out for France, they definitely rip you off. Yeah, and like, was it my spaghetti? Or whatever they got. Definitely, whatever, whatever that's it, called. It didn't even have any sauce. It was literally just oh, spaghetti noodles like a, oh and like super, super, super dried chicken. Like, it was just, it's just like, and then, like, and then the, here's the thing. He went up at the very end and he was like, so, all right, all right, pay, pay, pay. And like, I don't know why. I guess we were just like inclined to pay. And then we look at the bill afterwards and we're like, what? Yeah. Because the tip's not included. And I'm like, wait, it's a European country. All European countries have typically. We definitely got ripped off. Yeah. And we're bad. 100%. It's the place right behind us, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch out. <laughs> we disguise ourselves and just call yourself a cafe. It's called Cafe Something. I'm I dropping the name. <laughs> In the link below. <laughs> I'm dropping the name. It's about wow. a. F it's longer than a ride at like six months. Yeah, I bet. I've always wanted to take the stairs down. It sounds so cool. Built. Yeah, that sounds cool. Why was it built? Yeah, why was the glass wall we built? We assume after the pair was attacked, it was built. There's a. Yeah. On a horse. Two horses. Trees have sweaters. That's so cool. Oh, look how high tech this is. This is a boat? Or a floaty? Floating. Oh my god, there's rock climbing stuff. There's like three wedding photos going on right now. Okay, cute. Oh shit, this is like an actual like all shebang. What is 
happening in the statue? That's me on the weekend. I thought you were kidding about this vertical train. They don't have any lines on the road, dude. We literally just got back from clubbing, and now we're at the airport. We just got back to our apartments in London, and I'm so glad we're finally back here. It was a wild trip back from France. This is honestly like completely our fault and like this has never happened to me before. I guess we were so exhausted because we only had like maybe eight hours of sleep for the entire weekend. Got to the airport. We were there early and everything like um, we got through security and um, doing our passport stuff like just fine. And I think we got there like maybe an hour early and so we were waiting at the gate. We both ended up knocking out. I remember like putting an alarm though so that we could wake up in time for our flight. I didn't really worry too much about it because I thought if anything, um, well my alarm would ring or I would hear the shuffle and stuff from everybody around us because we were at the gate. I didn't realize we would actually be completely knocked out. Our plane just took off 10 minutes ago and I was like, no, what? The, what oh my god like what the heck do we do and i was like okay we had to talk to the i mean the gate person and it was really worrisome just because like we're i mean we're in france and we're trying to go back to london and neither of these countries are our countries and 
we're not sure if the people would speak English and also just like having like not knowing if we could get an another plane or like when that next plane would be because we have to come back here for school at work and also just like what if we don't have the uh, enough money like to do that but anyways we talked to the person he started talking to us in French which was like worrisome but also makes a lot of sense and then we were just like do you speak English and he was like yes and then he helped us and we had to go back through the gate where they check our passport before security and then we had to go to our airlines like service desk we basically told them like oh we accidentally missed our flight um is there any way any like plane that's going to london right now so then the lady helped us out she was very 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 rude about it and it did not help the situation we were definitely really frantic but we weren't being rude to her and she was like very annoyed that we didn't understand what she was saying she didn't even have like a thick af accent or anything we were just asking clarifying questions and she got really annoyed and she's like do you want the tickets or not and i was like okay we're just gonna get whatever is the quickest way out of here. We both had to pay 121 euros for another flight that was taking off like two hours later. That was such an L. 121 euros basically comes out to around 136 dollars and that made me so sad. Like I don't know what I expected. It's definitely not the worst. After we got our new tickets, we had to get into line get in the line so that we can get our boarding passes where you're supposed to check in your bags if you have bags well they didn't separate us from the people who had bags to check in and from people who didn't so we had to stand in line and it was the longest line ever and then we went through and it was like fine and then we had about like 30 minutes before we were supposed to board for our new plane and i was trying so hard not to fall asleep i was so tired but then as soon as we got on the plane and as soon as everybody in our row was sat down like i just knocked the heck out i didn't even feel takeoff like i've never been so exhausted honestly this whole airline sucks by the way do not take easy jet it's just like i don't know they just did not really help with the whole experience and their whole bar boarding process is so terrible too i can go on and on about this oh my god like basically so when we were coming to france they didn't tell us which gate we were supposed to be at until like maybe 10 minutes before we were supposed to board when we were there they were boarding but like not boarding at the same time they told everybody to get in line so all of us were standing in line but they weren't doing anything then they started like checking our passports and stuff and like we were like going to get boarded but we really just went behind the desk and waited in that part like, the hallway thing that they connect we couldn't do anything we were just waiting there because the people in the plane they weren't out of the plane yet we were waiting there for so long and it was hot and like I don't know it was just really annoying like there was just a lot of wasted time that could have been spent like sitting or something and then when we were actually getting onto the plane there was people boarding from the front and there was more people boarding from the back and it was not sorted whatsoever our seats were in the back and so we had to walk through while people were walking backwards trying to get to their seats in the front so it was like very like it did not make any sense to me whatsoever okay i know this is a cheap ticket but like this is just so inefficient it feels really bad knowing that that whole thing could have been avoided if we had just tried to stay awake a little bit longer and knock out on the plane it's nobody else's fault but our own and it just makes me so sad we could have saved 136 dollars and we could have used that to go on like another round trip to a different country it was like so unresponsible of ourselves and i was like very very disappointed in myself like i still had fun i just feel like i don't deserve another trip basically i don't think i'm gonna be going on any other abroad trips from london except for the one that we already booked yeah i don't think i want to shell out any more money because i already feel guilty about this whole situation and yeah but maybe i'll get to go on more trips like after this program and once i start working i haven't slept very much i'm very tired and disoriented and i've been wearing this makeup for like over 24 hours because we got ready yesterday do touristy stuff basically around um paris and then we went straight to clubbing and then we went straight to the airport and now it's the next day so i'm gonna wash this off of my face and i'm gonna sleep forever